Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, so I'm gonna do the sponsor lead in. Great. So it begins. Folks, it's Saturday night. You know what that means. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., uh, our little D&D podcast. A uh, little entertainment value, possibly, maybe. Maybe it'll stink. Who knows? Uh, you know the drill. If you've watched us before, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to support us by buying our cool stuff, uh, it's down there. I don't know. Uh, if you want to join us in Discord and chat with D and D about uh, chat about D and D with us, uh, it is also down there. But most importantly, if you want to be on the show, either this show or the talk show, M Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. Uh, we'll get you on here. Uh, four fresh faces uh, right now. Nice. Four fresh faces with us tonight. Uh, hopefully, they will play normally, but. It's Murder Hobo, ain't, you know, hard to say. Uh, don't forget, Pirate Dog Dice for dice that roll high. And of course, if your game stinks, Adventure Sense will make it smell way better than it should. Uh, they are a subsidiary of oddfishgames.com, one of our sponsors. Uh, so look them up. They also have plushies. It's kind of cool. Uh, folks, like I said, four new faces, one shot, third level, urban, easy peasy easy uh i'll tell you what they've already accomplished and the list is lengthy on this but first let's introduce you to some players uh who have graced us and i do mean that sincerely uh with their time tonight first off is travis travis tell us a little bit about yourself yeah hi i'm, I'm travis uh i go as at gm travis um or at gm underscore travis underscore because usernames are stupid on twitter and uh, yeah, I've played uh, with you guys one other time a couple weeks ago and had a lot of fun. Um, tonight, I'm going to be playing as uh, Marius, the Tabaxi Rogue, and I'm really excited to look forward to uh, what what's going to happen. It's got to be better than what happened before, right? <laughs> I, I mean, I had fun last time too. So <laughs> now you you've got a couple of podcasts, do you not? Uh, Twitch streams. Uh, yes, there's the. Yeah, there's the Talon and Claw Twitch stream, which is Talon, letter N, Claw, um, on Twitch. Uh, we're tomorrow from 6.30 p.m. until 10.30 p.m. Central Time. We're going to be doing a charity stream um, along with, uh, let's see, I think they're going to be also hosted on Team Squad Up on Twitch as well. And what we're doing is we're hosting... Uh, we're, we're playing for four hours, playing some Sea of Thieves, and we're hoping to get a little bit of money for the Duchenne muscular dystrophy uh, research. Good job, folks. Yeah. Uh, check that out tomorrow. Next up <clears throat> is Jacob. Jacob has also played with us before. It sounds bad, but it'll get worse. <laughs> uh, Jacob, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Jacob. Um, tonight I am playing Silas, the handsome half-orc paladin of Sunni, the goddess of beauty. Oh, that's just so weird. <laughs> I thought so. That's just so troubling. Uh, next up is Troy. Troy, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Uh, I'm Troy. I don't have any Twitch or YouTube or anything. So uh, I'm playing Jeffrey Lebowskiner, the halfling druid who just tries to abide. <laughs> Uh, folks, I can tell you right now, I, I, I've seen this character and I hate this character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last but certainly not least is Kristen. Kristen, tell us about yourself uh, and your character, please. Sure. Uh, I'm Kristen. You can find me on YouTube at Kristen's Epic Adventures. And tonight I'm actually playing Riley Digglebottom, a halfling bard. And don't worry, I've got all my vicious mockery insults ready. Ooh. We shall see. Uh, folks, if you missed any of their intros, uh, their nameplates will rotate through uh, throughout the show. Just go ahead and catch it. Uh, check out our YouTube. Check out the Twitch streams. Uh, and uh, Jeffrey Lebowski is not allowed by judicial restraint to have any social media, I believe. <laughs> folks, if you uh, saw the intro, easy oh, man, peasy. keeping me down. <laughs> Uh, these guys are all third level. They are headed to the big city of Cathaway. Uh, and for 
past watchers, you know what that means. Uh, they, on the road, had a wee bit of trouble, and uh, a group of highway bandits, skilled highway bandits, Joffrey, uh, attacked them. But these guys are heroes. I mean, they dealt with them rather abruptly. Uh, there, were, there were some injuries sustained, uh, but they did manage to capture the leader of these brigands, Hanus Torque. Uh, and during the investigation, they discovered that he had a wanted poster of himself because he is a narcissist, as well as two potions, one red, one blue. These three items have been divvied up uh marius eh, came out a little bit short on the dice roll but that's okay i'm sure he will be rewarded sufficiently uh heinous is worth 100 gold pieces and despite what joffrey might say that is a reasonable sum for a highwayman uh <laughs> folks yeah, um, yeah. the well-traveled road leads you to the enormous stone gates of cathaway a stone wall surrounds this bustling metropolis and tendrils of smoke abound. Uh, it sits on the bay over to your right and shipping traffic is full. This is one of the larger cities you will encounter. Ergo, you will find work here that you are so desperately seeking to increase your reputations as uh, heroes. Uh, as you move forward, ramshackle businesses line the road with merchants plying their wares, but you ignore them while you are saddled with your prisoner. You guys do have heinous torque tied up. Uh, how many of you want to hang on to him, though, is the main question. <laughs> or you can let him walk on his own. He has not caused you a problem since uh, the capture. <clears throat> Seems awfully willing. But. Do we have him in manacles or just tied with rope? Tied with rope. You guys don't own manacles yet. You guys oh. are third level, man. I'll hold on one of them to the rope. Silas the Handsome holds on to one side. No other takers. Silas. If there's, if there's a second second side or whatever, I'll hold on to the other side then. Sure. Yeah, you can yeah. do that. Uh, the two humanoid-esque size figures are hanging on to Hanus, who is a human. Uh, he has been somewhat quiet, uh, somewhat uh, compliant, if you will. Uh, he got a little beat up. You guys did uh, knock the wind out of his sails, along with killing all of his colleagues. But as, the, as you draw closer to the city, you notice that uh, he just can't stop smiling. He, he's just he's just a happy guy just smiling mm -hmm. away uh joffrey and riley you are first approached uh let's see odd even nine odd riley uh an individual selling foodstuffs approaches you meaning joffrey you have an individual selling you libations uh riley it's a human male uh my dear would you like to try a speciality of mine is is it on the house uh i will give you a nibble and he holds up a stick with uh what they call la rata on it uh it seems to be rather burnt uh but the tail is still visible well what's it smell like uh give me a con <laughs> check just a con check Sixteen. You like it. Okay, I'll take a nibble. Okay, give me another con check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a four. Smelled great, doesn't taste that great, and you mm. uh, kindly... <laughs> <laughs> Spit it out. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side of the group, uh, Joffrey, you are approached by <laughs> an elderly man with a small cask on his crooked back. Libation for you, my short friend. Well, who would I be to say no? I mean, you're so nice and kind to offer. One gold, my friend. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll trade you, and then I'll quickly roll up a 
quick dupe. Like, I'll trade you this for that. Persuade me. This is grade A halfling herb. Whatever, man. Uh, persuasion? Yep. Uh, 20, not natural. You have a trade. <laughs> <laughs> he will take your uh, Cuban and uh, trade you one mug of ale. Uh, it's bubbling, so you know that it's warm. Just the way mom made. Con check. Uh, Sixteen. You like it. Uh, Silas, Marius, uh, you notice that your new friend in rope uh, is starting to drag his feet a little bit, and he's trying to get the attention of Odd Even. Uh, the old man and he says hey old codger how about a drink on the house the old codger looks at him asks odd even odd silas the handsome uh what's his problem pay him no mind he is a simple thief i shoo the old man away is he is he going to prison that's for the guard to decide. Uh, D12 against me, Silas. Sure. 10. Two. Uh, the old man says, allow me to give him a beverage real quick since he's going away in the pokey. I myself have spent some time in the Cathaway jail and I do not, I do not wish that on anyone. May I give him a drink? I'll hold on to it for him. He declines your offer. He will await Silas's answer. <clears throat> One drink, then we have to be on our way. He tips the mug into your associate's uh, mouth. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, I'll it. turn and I'll just punch him in the stomach real quick, so then it <laughs> like spews it all over the place. Oh, very nice. Uh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Roll a d twenty if it's uh, one to five. He spits it out on Silas. All right, <laughs> uh, fourteen. Okay, he spits it out in front of him and gives you a sideways glance of anger. Leans towards you and says, "I think you'll pay for that, my friend." I'll uh, take my claws out. The <laughs> Like, oh yeah, you think that that will def that will do anything to me? Well, uh, bink, and then I'll just take my claw and just right on his nose, get a nice long scratch, like just just so you know, there's a little bit of blood, but not enough to really cause any pain. Fair enough. Uh, okay, those boots don't make you a hero, cat. <coughs> he uh, he is devoid of liquid in his mouth, so you may continue on if you want. Uh, seeing this, the other merchants are going to give you guys a wide berth because clearly to have someone so famous in tow means you guys must be heroes. Everybody, perception check, please, as the no. crowd starts to yell. Oh, no. 16. 11. Dirty 20. 13. Uh, everybody but Joffrey hears cries of, go get him, Hades! You're our man! We love you, Hades! Oh, no. <laughs> Yay! <Hades! laughs> so, uh, apparently you have a local celebrity in tow. Uh, he looks over at Marius. <laughs> He's ready to keep moving. Oh, yeah, let's keep going, Anus. We must uh, get you back to the place. I, I almost <laughs> named him something really poorly, uh, and I just stopped at Hanus. So <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> he's like, whatever you say, my fuzzy friend. And he starts to walk. Every time you hear somebody yell, don't worry, love. I won't be in long. Uh, and you proceed forward. Uh, as you reach the gate to the city, uh, there are multiple guards who immediately recognize Hanus, uh, and they are not his friend. They clearly uh, have a great disdain for this individual and ask you guys 
one, uh, Riley Digglebottom. Uh, where'd you pick him up at? We caught him out on the road. He was causing all sorts of mischief. We took, we took care of him. We're here to bring him to court. Uh, one of the guards turns to the other and says, Ooh, coming from a halfling. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 man. Whoa. Easy with the racism, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I was talking over you. My apologies. <laughs> uh, I assume you're going to be taking him to the guard shack. I stand up on my tiptoes, make myself a little bit taller. Yes, yes, we are. Step aside. Uh, he waits and stares to see how long you can stand on your tiptoes. Give me a con check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 18. Oh. He gets bored, says, apologies, apologies, friend. Thank you for capturing this uh, piece of feces. Uh, you want to go down the road about two blocks. It's on your right. You can't miss it. Hmm. Everybody perception check again. Let's go with this one. 16 again. Uh, Five. Uh, 22. Twelve. Uh, this time, Joffrey and Marius, you notice four individuals uh, casting a sideways glance at you guys. You have a halfling male with glasses, you have a human female, and you have a male elf and a male half-orc. Uh, the individuals are dressed uh, as regular people. Uh, however, you two both notice that your newfound friend gives him a slight nod and they move into the crowd and disappear quickly. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, move is- along, move along. You're blocking the path. Move along. I-, I believe he has friends waiting for us. I whisper over to Jeffrey. I don't like how so many people recognize him and seem to be on his side. He's a criminal, man. He's Robin Hood. He's Robin the Hood. (laughs) Speaking of, I'm going to go into my pack real quick and just pull out just a sack. And I'm going to put it over his head and tie it around his neck. So then his face is obscured. I'm going to let uh, both uh, Silas and Marius know that there's four of them that just scattered. So... You know, be on the watch. I think we're being hunted, man. The good news is they were on the left side of the road, and allegedly the jail is on the right side of the road. Just something to keep in mind. I suggest we hurry up then. I suggest you hurry up as well. You're blocking the road, and the merchants need to come in. Please move along. Move along. This is not the droid you're looking for. (laughs) At that time... Ooh, ouch. Uh, Silas the Handsome, you feel a crushing blow from behind you in the form of a body. Give me a strength check to make sure that you hang on to your money. 20 plus saving throw. Yep. Uh, 10. Uh, you are stout enough that the halfling that has careened into you has not made you lose your grip on the prisoner. Uh an individual says, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Ooh, you are a large man. I'm very sorry about that. And he seems to pat you down and whew, stout indeed. Uh, my apologies. Uh, I, Bartleby, always make amends for those that I have. You know what? The guards are coming. I got to go. And boom, off he goes. <laughs> and he is swallowed up by the crowd. Can I check my pockets? Make sure nothing was stolen. You know what? That hurts. But sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Check your pockets. <clears throat> I notice anything? Uh, give me an investigation check. Sure. Four. Four? Sure. Yeah. Uh, being, I'm, I'm sure intelligence was your dump stat, right? Yes. Yeah, you can count. There's like 
three gold pieces there. Uh, however, even in your fog, you discover two pieces of paper that you did not have previously. Can your character even read? <laughs> not to be racist, but you know, you are a half orc paladin. <laughs> I got a nine, so I think so. Maybe not good like. Uh, fair enough. Uh, you look at it. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, you notice that the first appears to be a ticket to the underground crab fighting contest, the UCFC, at Helm's Goblet, dated for later this evening. You do not know what the UCFC is, uh, so you'll have to ask around about that. The second item is a hastily scrawled note with the words Gwendolyn and the palace on it. Hmm. Does anyone recognize this? I want to show the rest of the party. I will take an Arcana 22 or better since you've never been to the city. Nope. Yep. Not me. <laughs> Riley or Marius? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, no, Silas, your associates do not know what it is. I guess I'll pocket it for now. We should keep moving. Yeah. Uh, everybody, take it. Give me a perception check. Let's see if you're being followed. I assume you guys are wanting to keep an eye on those four trepidatious individuals. Fifteen. Fifteen. I'm distracted by the fact that there might be a crab fighting championship. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fair assessment. Unfortunately, or fortunately, as the case may be. You do not appear to be being followed. However, there is a great deal of heavy foot and cart traffic here as merchants and farmers are bringing in their wares for sale. Two blocks down, you see the old Gray Bar Hotel, the old prison, the old penitentiary, uh, the big house. Uh, right there, uh, guards flittering in, flittering out, uh, some unscrupulous individuals flittering in, flittering out, possibly making or delivering bail. Uh, as you enter, Silas and Marius, you are keeping a close watch on him. And he goes, ah, home again. I can hardly wait to go get a bite to eat later. You walk in, uh, da, 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 and a desk sergeant says, uh, 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 wait. As a long line is ahead of you. Uh, your charge. And looks at. Or Marius. Mm -hmm. Ever been in prison? Nine. Have you ever been in prison? Oh, yeah, this is like my second home. Do you like watching gladiator shows? The gladiator shows. Uh, I, I'm pissing a little bit, I guess. You ever been to a Turkish bathhouse? You can go back to licking yourself, my friend. I no longer wish to talk to you. Finally, the desk sergeant uh, gets an opening, waves you forward. Oh, look. Heinous. You're back. Uh, I assume that you four are here to collect the reward. Yes, please. Ah. Yeah. Quick question. How many times has he escaped from here? He doesn't escape. How many times has he been bailed out from here? Oh, a significant amount. Huh. And uh, he turns around. Can I ask you, what was the current crime he committed that caused this poster? Oh, uh, it, uh, uh, it was, uh, heinous goes, uh, it was burglary. <laughs> and he goes, oh, that's right. Yes, it was burglary. What did you steal, heinous? What did you steal? I am an innocent man. I didn't steal anything. Oh, of course. You were friendly, <laughs> right? You know what? Let's try for persuasion. <laughs> You, you aren't buying it. <laughs> he 
his smug attitude is poor with a four, uh, as clearly he is lying through all of his teeth. Mm -hmm. Uh, Is my regular room available? And the desk sergeant seems exasperated, but says, sure. Calls over two guards, uh, young guards. Uh, They don't seem to notice who this guy is. He says, cell four. Uh, They whisk him away. Guard counts it out. 25, 25, 25. Clearly, Silas, he just gave you like 100 pieces uh, yourself. But it's actually the same size stack as everybody else. (laughs) Uh, I appreciate you getting a hold of him for the uh, burglary. Uh, You guys new to town? Yeah, fairly new. Why do you ask? Because I've never seen you before. Uh, If you're hungry, uh, you guys look like hearty adventurers. I would try across the street uh, at a place called the Max. Is it uh, serve crab? Crab? No, it's a it's a diner. It's a it's a pub. Do you know a place that serves crab? Maybe down by the docks. Hmm. Is it good crab? Uh, I have a shellfish allergy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. Is it, this is going person, nowhere. is it the same person that always bails him out? Uh, no, he has a, uh, what do you call that? A cabal of friends. Would you say he has a plethora of friends? I would, but I don't know what that word means. <laughs> because I too am a paladin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he has a plethora of friends that uh, tend to bail him out. Mm-hmm. Uh a shout comes from the back room. There's no turn down service. And you recognize the voice clearly. He's a, he's going to be a handful for them. Well, sir, I would like to thank you very much for the food recommendation across the street. Could you tell me, would you also be able to give us directions to Helm's Goblin? Uh, well, I suppose it. I, I wouldn't really eat there if I were you, though. That's kind of a. Eh. I don't want to say dive, uh, but you know the Max is run by my sister-in-law, so you know I'm just saying. Uh, Helm's Goblet is over at H. Uh, if you go down here to the main drag and you hang a right, uh, it's about a block down on the right. You can't miss it. It's dive. Uh, I hope you uh, have a cleric in the group that can cure disease. Thank you. Uh, Anything else? Question. Yeah. Uh, I, there was a, something about uh, crab fighting championship. Uh, crab fighting. I'm not sure what you've heard, but crab fighting is legal in this town. Do you have any direct knowledge of such uh, crimes about to occur? Uh, no, I just actually heard it on the way in, just people talking. It is a cruel feat, and uh, it's just horrible. That It's something that Heinous would inv- enjoy doing. Uh, it is against the law in this city. Good to know. Hmm. Okie dokie, gotta go. Any other questions? Marius, Silas, Riley? Do we get 100 gold every time we bring him back? <laughs> you did this time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, how much is this bail? <laughs> this bail's gonna be a hundred gold pieces. All right, never mind. <laughs> it's a zero sum. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing twenty five. You can just run the show on this one. <laughs> oh damn! Ah, so it's gonna be easy. My pants. <laughs> so yes, it's about mid morning, late morning. Uh, you know. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go over to like if after we leave, I'm gonna go over to Silas real quick. I'm like, I think we should get rid of that pamphlet about the crab fighting thing. You think we should give it to the guard? Or no, no, <laughs> no, we should not. <laughs> <laughs> it's Silas, remember? Intelligence was done. I'm just thinking we memorize what it says 
and then burn it. So I'm gonna spend like a quick minute just like memorizing what it says, and then I'm gonna little uh, flame cantrip. Just uh, Riley's already figured out where it's at and uh, where that location is, so you should be good. Uh, you notice that uh, there are several eateries, diners, pubs, uh, food market stalls available here. Uh, each is starting to fill up as it is mid-morning and people are getting hungry. Currently, the line at the max is not that long. It appears to be an upscale business. Um, and... Uh, Reputable people are going in. And also, something to eat? That sounds good. As she yeah. asks that, uh, her stomach growls loudly with a one. Okay, do we want to go to the max? Or what were you asking about? Hi. Well, just that I'm quite hungry and I, I would like to go get something to eat, definitely. Yeah, I'm fine with the max. We should go there. So you're like a Nazi cat now, right? <laughs> I do not appreciate that tone. Nine. Uh, He's, a dentist. <laughs> He's a dentist from the North Pole. Uh, spotting a tavern called the Max as your stomach growls, you opt to grab something to eat. You enter the quaint pub and notice that you are not the first to have the same idea as the place is starting to fill up. A portly man behind the counter beckons you to see... Uh, beckons you to sit at the bar as four seats have just opened up from the brunch menu. He introduces, uh, uh, he introduces himself as Max Bayside, owner-operator, and he calls for the waiter, Zach Morris, to come take your orders. Nobody? Really? Zach Nobody? Morris? Saved Wasn't by the that, bell? Yeah, I was going to say. say. Okay. We're going to get stabbed in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, by A.C. Slater. <laughs> uh, Zach Morris comes over to take your orders. This fresh-faced young man is just chipper as the day is long and asks what you would like to eat. Uh, he points over his shoulder at a uh, strange item that he calls a chalkboard uh, that has a plethora, Jeffrey, of items for consumption including the aforementioned requested crab uh fresh seafood pulled out of the sewers today mm, the sewers crap. delicious so, yeah. um. tell me zach do you have any soup in a bread bowl i like that kind of thing yes we do uh today is vegetable or a vegetable. Oh, I'll have the vegetable and an ale. Thank you. Very nice. Anybody else? Uh, can we Vine. see the jail from here? Like, can uh, we see the jail from like the like a directly window across the street? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, sitting at the bar, you'll have to look behind you, or if you have your adventurer's mirror, you can keep an eye on it and look <laughs> really stupid. <laughs> well, I think it was like we can get a table near one of the windows, try to keep an eye on the. Nope. The only spot open is at the bar. <clears throat> Come on. You didn't think I'd make it that easy, did you? All right. I'm going to sit at the bar, but I'm going to sit with my back to the bar looking out and be like, yes, I would like some bread and cheese. And if you have any fruit. Is he talking to me? Because I think yeah. he's talking to the table in front of him. No, no, no. It's to you. It's to you. It's to you. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. Uh, uh, I have uh, blue Java bananas in stock today. If you'd like to try one of those, is it a real fruit? Actually, it is a real fruit. Yeah, a blue, sure. Go ahead. A blue Java tastes like ice cream. I'm told. Uh, and yes, I'm doing the cardinal sin of doing a crossover here, but since none of you have watched the Margu campaign, you have no idea what's about to happen. Nope. Uh, <laughs> he brings you four blue javas. Uh, Silas, the handsome. Uh, Zach looks at you. You are a very handsome half orc, if you don't mind me saying. Thank you. My goddess says I'm pretty. <clears throat> um, I want to ask for meat. But can you, you know, make it gussy up a little bit, you know, make it a pretty dish? 
pretty meat. Yes, sir. We'll get right on that. Uh, finally, uh, you, my uh, feline friend, what can I get for you? Yeah, I would like the schwein. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, the pig. The, uh, yeah, pig, I think. Yeah. We have a beautiful bacon sandwich. A whole yeah, pig? Yeah, or... the, the, the schwein without the bread, just so the sandwich, but just take away the top and the bottom part. Yeah. Gluten allergies? <laughs> Something like that. Sure. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, you guys look around. Uh, standard fare. Uh, not that not that unusual looks like your standard applebee's and cat uh cathaway uh joffrey give me an investigation check since you are intent on keeping an eye on the jail because you don't trust me and that it hurts <laughs> investigation investigation you are intently peering at it uh there's a few people in going in uh maybe a few esquires maybe a few uh rebel dogs uh but nothing unusual the food comes everybody go ahead and do a con check let's see how you like it it's not poisoned it's not going to cause you any problems uh silas he has brought you a hunk of meat uh probably resembling some kind of chicken uh with the little chef hats on the legs oh okay presentation is very good so whether you like it or not the presentation is there that's all i care about so, Riley, what'd you think? I got a natural one for a total of two. Ooh, that was bad veggie. <laughs> you <laughs> will be visiting the outhouse later. Uh, Joffrey, what do you think of the blue java? Uh, apparently, I don't like ice cream. Uh, it was a five. Okay, well, uh, that's probably going to prevent you from further issues down the line. Silas and your pretty meat. <laughs> Eight. Uh, a little Who under here sucks dick. <laughs> <laughs> a little undercooked. Uh, uh, how was the bacon, Marius? Uh, four. So not oh, very bacon. Uh, how do you like, how do you mess up bacon? You like, mess geez, up all of it. Uh, I blame you guys for crappy rolls. Uh, as you begin to finish up your lackluster meal, a fight breaks out. Ooh. To your right. Uh, it appears to be uh, a male and Zach Morris and Max Bayside. He also does not appreciate uh, the food and is being extremely loud and belligerent about it. Uh, what would you guys like to do? Would you want to fall back and just keep an eye out? Or do you want to also join in the uh, rebuke of the food service here? Was it two people fighting or three? <laughs> one, one guy mad. Waiter and Zach, or Zach and Max, the owner, are trying to defend their products. Uh, the guy that's mad, was he one of the people that was in the four that I saw earlier? No. Nope. Okay. Regular old person here. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the view. Fair enough. Yeah, some good entertainment. Yeah, I'm not saying anything. Fair yeah. enough. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over to the manager and tap him incessantly on the shoulder. Be like, "Hello, I use a manager. I have a grievance." <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Here we uh, go. One moment. One moment, sir. Uh, I will be with you. One moment. Uh, but this food was the shisa. <laughs> as uh, and you know what? I love this role because this is gonna work real well. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> Max is trying to, to acquiesce to both of your complaints, uh, and he is offering you a free voucher for another meal, as well as a to-go cup uh, with their finest wine. Uh, yeah, yeah. If your food is shit now, it's going to be shit later. So we do not need anything then. Uh, but we will take the cask of your finest wine and go. Thank you. Uh, persuade me to give you a cask. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's going to work, but okay. Oh, it, w it was almost a one. Uh, so it was, let's see, persuasion is, oh, 15. Not, not horrible. It's not bad. 13. Uh, <clears throat> how about just two bottles? Would that, would that work for you, sir? 
Yeah, fine. Okay. Uh, he sends Zach off to get the one guy a travel mug to go and your two bottles. Uh, eh, hide the two bottles so the guy's gone. Uh, Max, again, repeats his apologies. He's very sorry. They've got a new cook that they're breaking in. Uh, Mr. Gacy has not been here. Oh. And <laughs> he's new. So there you go. Yes. Glad I didn't order any meat. <laughs> you had the neighbor, Silas. <laughs> it was a pixie. Uh, meanwhile, Riley and Silas, you are seeing the transaction going by. And Silas, somebody bumps into you yet again uh, and apologizes. Uh, this time it is a human female. Uh Give me a D20 roll. See if you spill your drink as she bumps into you. <clears throat> Ten. Fair enough. You do not spill your drink. You manage to catch it. You're a tad irate at her clumsiness, and you discover that she is a waitress. Uh, she apologizes, tells you she will get you another drink uh, in one moment. Joffrey, are you still looking across the street or are you watching all of this unfold? Uh, I'm pretty sure my attention was drawn to them. Gee then I'll darn. <laughs> try to, I'll try to look back. Sure. Like I'm trying to like do both. Sure. Wah, give me yeah. an investigation <laughs> check. <laughs> See if you would have taken cross, cross your eyes as a feat. Yeah, I was really into this argument. Uh, Riley being a diminutive stature, I, I need a perception at disadvantage, please, as you see Silas get bumped into. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> With disadvantage, a seven. Mm, very nice. Uh, you notice... That the waitress did not paw at him, so you don't think that she is a pickpocket. About this time, Marius, uh, Zach Morris, uh, gives the man his travel mug. He gets up, leaves in a huff. Zach hands you a pair of wine bottles. Did you want to return to your seat? Um, I'll, I'll grab the two bottles, and I'll look at him and be like, Zach? You must need to get a new job because this is a shithole and the food is scheisse. <laughs> Thank you. And then just turn around and start walking back. Fair enough. As you walk yeah. back, you notice that Silas is not very happy with the waitress who just now scurries away. However, uh, as he backs down, Joffrey is focused in on the jail, but Riley, Silas, and Marius, you notice... There's a box on your stool, Marius. Uh, yeah. Does anybody know what this is? I do not. There is, is not a mine. word on it. And I, I swear to box. God, I wrote this word last week. Nice. No. Schrodinger. <laughs> uh -oh. Wow. Do not get in the box, dude. Do not get in the box. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Mm. Oh, no, you have I'll, a box I'll, I'll, marked Schrodinger on it. I'll pick ah. it up and hold it up to my head and shake it and see if I hear any cats in this inside. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, I took that into account. There is something in the box. Could be a cat. Could be Gwyneth Paltrow's head. You aren't really sure. You'd probably have to open it to know for sure. What's Meanwhile, in the box? When you what's passed, in the box? <laughs> nobody in the max took heed. No one said, oh, that's mine. Da, da, da. Mm. No one has apparently seen who has dropped it off. Hmm. Open it. Open it. But yeah, if we, if we open it now, then we will know what is inside. But if we don't know, then we don't know. And so is that is the conundrum. It's like, yeah, I'm just is, it, the is there stuff in there? Is it not? And I'll just kind of keep rambling like that as uh, Jeffrey just takes it and just opens it up. Like, now you know. <laughs> yeah. And knowing is half the battle. So you're going to just use your dagger and open that baby up. 
Uh, if the box is opened within a structure. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> Joffrey, <laughs> you whip out your knife. Enough. <laughs> Slide it open. Lift it up. Boom! Uh, a fog cloud is emitted from this box. Oh, it's and, a magic trick. And it is thick fog. Uh, you hear people running into their table. You hear your sounds of uh, glass crashing. Uh, you hear Max with a surprising amount of profanities uh, as he goes off on a tirade about who did this. Uh, the fog cloud gets thicker and thicker and uh, everybody roll perception. While everybody's trying to perceive this, can I use my like feline agility to be able to just like dash at the door and like jump over the chairs and patrons and stuff like acrobatically as possible to try to get outside to see if anything's going to happen out there? A survival check to see okay. if you remember where the door is. Good point. So, so go ahead there. Uh, that's going to be a 16. Yeah, you remember where the door is. Okay. There were two tables in between you and the door. Give me dex <laughs> checks for both. Dex check number one, 15. Okay. Dex check number two, 23. Very nice. Uh, everybody everybody else, roll perception for me. I got a 21. Uh, 18. Nine. Uh, Silas, you don't hear everything. Riley and Joffrey, you hear the hissing of a loud cat, presumably your associate. You hear the sounds of glass clatter. Uh, somebody's kicked over water glasses. Silas, that is what you hear. Uh, Riley and Joffrey, then you hear the hissing of the cat again, but it is behind you. And it doesn't sound like it came from the mild-mannered build of Marius the Tabaxi Rogue. Uh, hissing. Yeah, a lot That's of hissing. Me. Large cat hissing. Uh, 20 seconds later, uh, Marius, you bluster your way outside. Uh, you did not break the two bottles of wine because your dexterity uh, allowed you to leap on the table, kick somebody's toast off, kick somebody else in the face with their water glass, and dive through the door uh, as people see just this explosion of smoke come out. Uh, you will see two people that you saw earlier. Uh, Riley, Joffrey, Silas, uh, you hear somebody use a magical incantation and a gust of wind whips through everything. Joffrey and Riley, there is like a large saber-toothed tiger right there. Probably Schrodinger's cat. Everybody except Marius roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's not good. Nope. It's initiative, wisdom, or dex in this one? Uh, it is uh, dex. dex. I think it's just plus two, though, for you. I think. But yeah, I think it's dex. Riley. 11. Joffrey. Six. And Silas. One. <laughs> Silas, I rolled a two. <laughs> Uh, okay, jo or, I'm sorry, Riley, with the 11, you're first. Marius, you will see through the front windows what's going on next round. You're okay. up, Riley. How far away is this tiger? Like right here. <laughs> right here, okay. I would like to, first off, as a bonus action, give Jeffrey some bardic inspiration that he can use. He'll need it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I shall attack with my rapier. Finesse weapon it is. Uh, AC 12 on this creature. Go oh, ahead. Nine. Swing and a miss at the tiger stripe. Uh, Joffrey, bardic inspiration fills is, you, but you don't have to no. use it yet. You're up. What is that, a D4? D6. At this level, yeah. D6. D6. Six, okay. Um, 
as uh, speech of the woods, I can understand. I have the ability to decipher their noises and motions of animals. So is this tiger really irate? Yes. Is he irate it, it at apparently us? had the bacon here as well. <laughs> <laughs> also, your friend just tried to poke it in the nose with her rapier. So okay. probably going to be, you know, a negative aspect. I just, I just want to let him know we freed you from the box so that you are free to go. You can just leave now if you want. All right. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an intimidation check. Okay. Half lane. <laughs> yep. That missed too. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, let's uh, see. Intimidation. Uh, yeah, it'd be five. Yeah, not not good enough for my fourteen. Uh, I have a claw and a bite. The claw odd even. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. Odd. Uh, Riley gets the claw. Joffrey gets the bite. Uh, on the female, uh, eight plus six is 14. That's my armor class. And on Joffrey, the bite, uh, nine plus six, 15. He missed. Uh, the claws reach out and rake Riley Digglebottom, and they are painful. Eight, eight, eight hit points of damage as she, as the Schrodinger's cat rakes your chest. Silas, huh? <laughs> You're up. Okay, now that I see this cat, I'm gonna take a swing at it with my morning star. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. <laughs> uh, twenty-three. Yeah, that that kind of hits. <laughs> Definitely not a one. And you will shatter a bar stool. Oof. Uh, ten. That's gonna hurt. Uh, round two. We'll start outside. Uh, Marius, give me a initiative roll just for kicks and giggles. Uh, right. Uh, seventeen. Very good. Uh, you are outside. Woo! Do not go in there. Uh, you spot the two individuals that you saw from earlier. A sideways glance shows Rodinger's cat, a black and white tomcat, tiger stripe, uh, is currently engaged with your three associates. You can deal with the two in front of you who are not being threats, or you can go in and assist your associates. Or screw them. You already got your 25 gold. Just ditch him. Yeah, um, screw them. So those, those two people that were outside that I recognized, were they the ones that had seen um, Venus and like nodded? Yep. Okay. Uh, the, uh, let's see which two they were. Number three and number two. Uh, the human female and the male elf. Which makes sense. Okay. And they, they're they just out there across the street, just kind of like looking at this area? Well, they're kind of headed towards the jail. Towards the jail. Huh. All right. Well, I'm going to... Uh, let's see. Is the door open? Do I have a clear view on that cat? All right. Well, I'm going to say screw them for a minute. I'm going to pull out my short bow, <laughs> just whip it around in the middle of the street. And oh, just I thought you meant screw the... these guys. Okay. Oh, that's no, fair. <laughs> no, no screw, screw the other guys. Um, Are you hippies? I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going to whip out the short bow and try to shoot that cat from outside of... One, please be a one. Please be a one. Uh, never one. It is 21, in fact. And that's going to have some... Some sneak attack damage because I believe Riley's right next to it, right? Correct. Uh, Riley, Joffrey, and Silas are all engaged with it. Uh, Joffrey, Riley, an arrow goes whizzing directly between your heads and lands in the in the skull region of this cat. How much damage did you do, Marius? Uh, thirteen plus three, sixteen total. Nicely done. Top of the order. Uh, Riley, shaken a little bit by the shooting arrow, you quickly surmise correctly that it is your associate finally showing up to help. Uh, the tiger's still pretty pissed off. 
What would you like to do? Hmm. I'm going to cast sleep on it. Okay. Let's see if uh, you get enough hit points to knock out Schrodinger's cat. All right. Let's see. It would be <coughs> 5d8. I believe, let me find. And I will let you know that it is possible to put this thing to sleep, heartless wench. <laughs> I'm D8, let's see. Oh, that's a few ones there. 26 total. Hmm. 26 is exactly what you needed because it was at half. Wow. Uh, Schrodinger's cat slumps over. Joffrey, would you like to hit it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit a defenseless cat. You don't know that it's, it's defenseless. <laughs> it's sleeping. It's a, such a good kitty. Who's a good oh, kitty? Uh, rub a belly. Rub its belly. No, don't oh. wake it up. Yes, rub its belly. <laughs> 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 as, as soon as I see it go down from afar, I'm going to like sprint across the street um, and like hide in the shadows outside of the, the jail, just waiting for, for them to come out. Excellent. Sure. Uh, are any of the guards coming from all the ruckus? Uh, there the are hubbub. some guards coming. Okay. Um, I say we let the guards take care of this. Yeah, I'd like to leave. I mean, I don't, I don't see why anybody needs to know that we were here to do this. Maybe the guards can get him back in the box. You know how cats like boxes. That's true. There you Once have it's it. out of the box, you can't get it back in the box. It's a cat. They don't get in any box. <laughs> get right in yeah. <laughs> You can open up a milk carton and they'll squeeze into that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys take the hero's way out. This is somebody else's problem. We're leaving. Uh, Max and uh, Mr. Gacy from uh, the rear. Uh, you can hear him just as you guys bail out. I bet I could cook that thing. Uh, Joffrey, <laughs> Riley, Silas, as you reach the front, uh, Marius, were you trying to hide in shadows? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely Give trying me a to roll, hide. Please. All right. Now, nah, dirty 20. Uh, you guys have no idea where your fourth associate is. Uh, however, a loud explosion is heard from within the jail, and a similar amount of smoke comes pouring out the front door. Several guards, several esquires, and several riffraff uh, <coughs> come out choking and coughing. Uh, you notice that smoke has escaped the door that you guys went in, as well as windows on either side. Mm. Do we see Hainus come running out? You do not. Mm. Mm. Uh, Marius, I will take an investigation check from you. Okay. So you were the only one aware that there two of his associates were there. Uh, that's an 18. One of them comes out choking and coughing. The uh, human female. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to follow her, but stay in the shadows. Okay. She, uh, she is being cared for by a few acolytes who have come from a nearby temple to go ahead and render aid. You will awesome. overhear her name as Margie. Margie. Uh, Silas, Joffrey, and Riley, you come across the street. Uh, plumes of smoke are escaping the building. Uh, guards are running to and fro. Uh, injured are in the middle of the street. And uh, acolytes wearing red crosses on their outfits are pouring into the region to offer assistance. Can I run up to someone who's running out and just say, oh my gosh, what happened? What happened? You run into a male elf whom you do not recognize because you did not notice him earlier. And he says, there's a loud explosion in there. There's plenty of dead people. I got to get out of here. Uh, do you Joffrey, know what caused it? Uh, a box. A box. Mark Schrodinger. Oh. Joffrey <laughs> and Marius, give me investigation rolls. Uh, 21. Uh, 17. Uh, hey, that's that smart ass uh, that was with the four of them. Uh, Riley, would you like to ask him any other questions? He's kind of choking. I'm going to grab him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, hold on. Hey, Good hey. touch, not bad touch. 
Uh, Where'd you grab? That- <laughs> He's a halfling. You know where he grabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> With a pair of pliers. <laughs> just to make sure he doesn't go anywhere. I just... Uh, was that box delivered straight to um, Anus's place? Anus's place? I, I don't know what your anus place is like, <laughs> and I'm not sure what can fit in there, pal. You need to step away, and uh, those are not for sale, and they are certainly not for you. If your friend wants a touch, that's fine. You, no. And he kind of pulls away. Small <laughs> handful, anyways, even for a halfling. But... He is an elf, so you know. Was so uh, he didn't say whether or not the box was delivered to Hainus. All right. Um, wait, what were you doing in there, anyways? I was visiting my dying mother. Thank you very much. Your dying mother's in jail. Yes. Because or... my father's already dead. <laughs> Uh, so what's she in jail for? I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> because the father's already dead. Oh. I'm sorry. Did that joke sail over your head, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a short joke? That was a short joke. <laughs> anyway. I prefer vertically challenged. There you I'm go. Vertically challenged. Thank you. Silas, what do you want to do with this mess? I'm just standing watch looking for uh, Hainus to come running out of the building. Okay, that's fair. Uh, back to Marius. Uh, you, you're keeping an eye on uh, the female who's being attended to. Mm-hmm. Her injuries appear to be superficial. Okay. Does she get up and like get moved away or whatever? Or is she going to sit there and get bandaged up for a while? Give me an insight check. <clears throat> okay. Uh, 15. Uh, she says, no, no, other people are far more hurt than I, uh, you need to attend to them. And she just keeps stepping back as she points the helpers towards the building and continues to back up. Uh, you also notice her associate, the male elf, uh, minus Joffrey's handful is also backing up towards the max. Hmm. All right. Um, I guess I would try to sneak through the kind of crowd that most likely is gathered around because of the the stuff going on um, and try to cross the street to the other side where the Max is and kind of head them off at the pass. Why did the Marius cross the road? <laughs> Fair okay. enough. Uh, oh, back Thank up you. to Riley. What do you want to do? <laughs> is there a way to get around yeah. the back of the jail? Is it there? They're like alleys. I want to go see if there's a door in the huh? back that Hainus might be sleeping in. Sure. So. Yes, there is. One on either side. I'll go down the left one. Fair enough. Uh, it is chalked full of a fair amount of smoke, some loose brick from above, uh, but it is not impassable, and you uh, lightly dance over the rubble. Joffrey, uh, you see your associate head down towards the left alley. Uh, what would you like to do? Okay, do I notice that both Silas and Marius are keeping tabs on the other two? You notice that Silas is uh, being a paragon of virtue by directing traffic. <laughs> 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 but you know what? Looking good while he's doing it. <laughs> uh, you also notice that Marius is zipped across the street, apparently trying to do the end around on the other two who are backing up. Okay. Uh, yeah, then I'll follow Riley down the alleyway. Silas See. is more of remain calm. Everything is fine. <laughs> Kevin Bacon joke right there. To it all, man. Okay. You head down uh, with Riley in the dark alley where almost nothing bad ever happens. Silas. You're up. What Fair are you going to do? Have this I seen anybody down. I recognize yet? Uh, you didn't recognize the four. Uh, Anus is not around. Uh, you recognize the desk sergeant. He's got some uh, burns to his face and his hands. Okay. Um, I'm just going to keep directing traffic then until I... Fair There's enough. no more people coming out. Uh, Marius, you have 
circled around. You are on the far side of the street. Mm -hmm. uh, the two suspects, or I'm sorry, uh, intangibles, I have not <laughs> noticed you, uh, and they are parked uh, watching the drama unfold. Uh, the male elf is trying to take a look at the female human's injuries uh, and doing his best medicinal skill at trying to patch her up. Okay. I'm going to go over behind them very, very quietly and tap them both on the shoulders, like one on the left shoulder and one on the right shoulder, mm -hmm. and then just quickly like... Because they're both. Just like, <laughs> yeah, wait for them to do that double turnaround and then just pop up right in front of them as they're turning around and be like, yeah, hello. My name is Marius. And the, you killed uh, my father. <laughs> prepare to die. <laughs> prepare to die. <laughs> uh, my name okay. is Marius. Uh, yeah, you, you might have seen me earlier with the, the Mr. Anus. Uh, <laughs> yes. The, so I feel that you guys are mispronouncing his name on purpose. <laughs> no. What? Yeah. Uh, it, hey, what, anus? What? Anus? I, what? What are you talking about, dude? I almost so, got blown up. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, you, you also uh, you also saw that he he was going in there before before we actually got there and everything. And I am in cahoots with him. We are in cahoots together. Yeah, it's insane. I know. That's so that's what bad people say is cahoots. <laughs> Yeah, and it is definitely cahooting here and cahooting over there. You know, he had the smoke thing happen, and I was like, "Yeah, that is the best ever." And so I was, I was looking uh, for information because he is not stuck to the plan. He's, he, he, he's not going out the areas that I thought he would. And now I am looking for him to try to meet up. Do you know where the uh, the places that I could go find him? Maybe, perhaps. Uh, first off, persuade me that you are in cahoots. <laughs> like, persuade you or roll a persuasion check? Roll a persuasion check. Okay. No, persuade, persuade, <laughs> persuade him. Yeah, persuade you're going to have to do more. a whole lot better than that. We only got two hours here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, that's going to be a big old four. Um, <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. So that's going to work out really well in my favor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Uh I, 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 I don't know what the cahooting is. Uh, your accent is a little bit harsh and aggressive. Uh, what are you talking about? My <laughs> accent is not aggressive. Scheiße. Oh, uh, 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 I, 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 we don't know. You know, we were there to pay his bail. We don't know where he's at. Why would you pay his bail if you do not know where he is going? Because the, the can't, I'm sorry, does the accent interfere with your eyeballs? Because that place nearly came down in a ball of flame. Oh, it is just some smog. There isn't much that happens with smog. Don't I, We got smog there. We got smog over on this side of the street. This place is a, this place is a socialist nightmare. <laughs> And uh, I'm I'll, sure I'll that just... you're familiar with it, Shizen. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just give her a stare. Like, you do not know what you are talking about. And this was not anything but smog. You know what? D12 against me. I have a bad idea. Awesome. Oh, shit. Four. Six. Uh, the male elf reaches in. He pulls out a ball with a little bell in it. <laughs> and and it away I go. The, road. Uh, the two <laughs> halflings are shooting through the alley. Smoke is billowing. There's small rocks. Uh, both of you roll a d20. As long as you don't roll a one or a two, you don't get hit by falling debris. Okay, 19. All right. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Your leith ability to dodge is fantastic. <laughs> As you leap over a small boulder, which used to be a crowning effect on this building, uh, you notice that there is a slight alley to your left and something catches your eye. Uh, ahead of you on the right 
is another doorway. Uh, it is a metal door and it is currently shut. Would you like to focus in on the metal door or whatever is going on down the alley? So the, the metal door on the right, because we went down the left alley, that would be a door into the jail, right? Correct. I want to focus on that door. Joffrey, same question. I'm going to focus on the, the figure that went down that way or whatever. In moved the alley? Down that way. Yeah. Uh, as you stand at the alley entrance, you notice a strange sight. A gnomish man is surrounded by several chickens, and he is talking to them and feeding them with small morsels. As you take a second glance at it, you notice that he is feeding the chicken gemstones? Uh, Riley, you see no movement at the metal door. Okay. Silas, uh, as you expertly direct traffic and are a credit... To civilization, you are a hero. Uh, you notice the halfling that ran into you earlier come by. <laughs> what I miss? Um, do I see uh, Marius? Did he? Go, where did he I, run off to? I, I caught the, the ball. Damn ball. <laughs> I caught it. I'm quick. Yeah. Damn strap. it! That's right. <laughs> 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 he's that fast man All right, but he's on the other side uh, okay. the two individuals that he was with are just standing there alright I'm going to approach the man and say you what did you give me uh, I, if, is, if this is about the velvet glove last night uh, you're fine oh. I, I don't know I don't know what you're talking about you're going to be fine on that one hey aren't you the guy that uh, is holding something for me Oh, ticket. Oh, ticket. Ticket. Ticket, please. Ticket. <laughs> Got my ticket. Yeah. yeah. What, what is that? I want to ask him. It's the hottest show in town, my friend. And if you were the guy from the Velvet Glove, uh, yeah, you can come with me if you want. <laughs> Second hottest show in town. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um,. Okay, where do I go to see this this show? Uh, it's over at uh, the Goblet. Jay, we we got an hour to kill. If you want to go over to the Velvet Glove, have a few uh, <coughs> drinks, uh, and then we can go over to the the Goblet. Um, there's no time for that. I, I uh, come on, we're doing Saw Cathaway edition. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna wake up chained to a door. Okay. Uh, can I have my ticket back? Uh, I must have left it in my other halfling. Great. You know you can't get in without a ticket. Um, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna look around to, to try to regroup with the party. Is uh. <laughs> yeah. No. no. You can see Marius. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go over to Marius then. Uh, he is completely entranced on his new toy. Uh, a quick glance over to the right shows the elf and the human female. That I don't recognize. <clears throat> you do not recognize him. You've never seen him before. Uh, you approach Marius. Uh, it is Marius's opportunity. Uh, Silas, what do you want to say to him? And then we'll go to Marius. Cat, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, cat. So cat now. Just cat. Not Tabaxi. Yeah. Not Mary's cat. Uh, yeah, I do not just, I do not just call you there. orc. So you do not call me cat, please. Thank you. Uh, first of all, this is a very cool ball. Uh, <laughs> I found it, and it's mine now. So, yeah. Uh, second of all, I talked to the people that he nodded to, and they were not helpful. They lied forever. And then they were like, hey, I have this new ball. Do you want it? And then I was like, yeah. And they gave it to me. So I went and played with it for a little bit, whatever. And then, uh, you need to roll a wisdom save, by the way. <laughs> wisdom save. It's full of catnip. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, minus one. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> 18. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a good ball. Sweet. So, yeah, uh, that's I'm, I'm just going to start bragging about my new ball a little bit more until uh, Silas cuts me off and tells me what's going on. 
never mind that. Do you not see the explosions going on or the giant saber tooth tiger? I, I, or yeah, I, I basically <laughs> killed the t- saber tooth tiger by myself, and I was like, well, I guess if I have to do everything around here, then I'll go over and I'll find the the, the people that are in cahoots with anus. <laughs> Did you find Hanus? You know, no, but I found the people he was cahooting with. And so, what did they tell you? Uh, is that they were paying his bail, and then they basically like almost died. So, so where is Hanus? <laughs> yeah, they brought out this really cool ball, f- and then I was like, "Well, that's <laughs> that's a really cool ball." I it's don't, almost I, like he failed. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't focused on that, so they might have said something, but you can go over there and intimidate them. I will be here. Okay, so he pointed where they are, though? Now I recognize them? Nope, not a clue. Because only Joffrey and uh, Marius uh, spotted them on the way into town. Okay. All right. Um, Where are they? Who did you talk to? Uh, Yeah, it's the uh, human female. She she is right over there next to the elf, and her name is Margie, and I believe I believe uh, I do not know the elf at all, but nope. What's 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 going on with the uh, where is the the little ones? Where's Riley and Jeffrey? They're over there investigating the jail somewhere. <laughs> oh, that is good. We split the party three ways. Okay, so that is nice. I think I will leave you now. You go intimidate Madri, and I will go try to find them. Um, which which alleyway did they go down? Yeah, which alleyway did they go down? <laughs> I know, but did Silas notice? <laughs> give me an intelligence, or give me a wisdom check, because that would be perception, yeah. Right. Where did they go? Which way did they go? Wisdom. Wisdom or perception? Wisdom. Seven. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So Pretty how sure they I went that Silas? way. How long have I known Silas? A uh, couple months. Couple months. So I know he's he's pretty, but he dumb. So I'm gonna just <laughs> do the opposite of whatever he tells me. I'm gonna be like Okay, thank you, and I'll give him a little pat on the head, and then I'll book it and go down the uh, the other one. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Riley, uh, the door opens and a plume of smoke pours out. <laughs> uh, you are still a good 10, 15 feet away, and you recognize an individual, not called Anus, but called Hanus, uh, carrying guards out. He sets them gently down onto the ground, and runs back into the jail. Oh. I, I turn around and look and see if I still see Jeffrey. Jeffrey, are you seeing this? You see Phoenix Jeffrey doing this. Zero. Those look like gems. I think those, no, no, no. Those look... Jeffrey, look at this. Look at this. It's heinous. It's heinous. I try to get Jeffrey's attention. Jeffrey, you turn around. Uh, heinous isn't there. <laughs> it's two guards laying on the ground. No, he just went back inside. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, that's that's what a robber will do. Yeah. No, he's trying that's... to save them. Come with me. Come with me. I'm not I'm going, going in there. I want to go inside. That's full of smoke. Not the good kind either. <laughs> oh, you don't know. That could be the evidence locker room. <gasps> I'm running in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you two dive. Fortunately, the smoke is up t- up high, so you guys crouch down a little bit low. Uh, D12 against me. Really thinking there was something with these chickens, though. Well, there is. Uh, six. Seven. Uh, both of you dodge a human uh, male carrying two more guards outside. Give me perception check. Mm. Uh, 22. Oh, natural one for five. Uh, Riley, you dodge the individual and continue your headlong dive in. Uh, Joffrey, you are right on her heels and go, uh, I think that was anus. <laughs> <laughs> that was the robber. He was, hey, he was carrying guards out. What do you know? Good for him. Turned a new leaf. Go get him. If it's him, Joffrey, go get him. All right. I'll chase after him. 
Uh, Riley, you reach a holding cell, uh, and it, it is a typical maze of cells back there. Uh, there are numerous individuals on the ground choking, gasping for air. Only one cell has been opened, uh, and there is nobody else in it. Uh, as Jeffrey runs out, Marius runs in. Uh, Marius, you are in the alleyway, and you spot your diminutive friend run out. But first, Silas, uh, Margie, the human, and the unknown male elf are just standing there looking at you. Um, I'm going to look back and forth a couple times. I'm going to follow the king. Uh, Marius, Marius, Marius the cat. <laughs> Whatever. Um, good, idea. good, good thinking. You know, we'll both we'll cover on both alleys, and uh, I want to follow. Up <laughs> into the alley. Fair enough. Uh, strangely <laughs> enough, a figure similar to Marius is ahead of you along the left. It's almost like a mirror image. You aren't sure how he did it, but dang that cat, he's magical. Uh, Marius, you see Jeffrey plunge out. There are four guards on the ground choking and gasping for air and one individual not cahooting going down the alley the opposite way from this distance he sure does look like he's somebody familiar i'm going to rush at that someone familiar uh using my feline agility doubling my speed do a double dash for 120 feet of speed as quickly as possible in six seconds. Very nice. See if you hit Joffrey by accident with a d20 roll. All right. over like eight like acro acrobatics or something, or uh, it's gonna be like be a, acrobatics. Is this gonna um, be like a trained? Yes, it's gonna be like okay. a trained from the boys. <laughs> well, if it's acrobatics, then it's 19, otherwise, it's straight 14. Joffrey, a bolt of lightning flashes past you uh, <laughs> in the form of Marius. Uh, you look down and you see the guards, but wow, first, uh, Riley, uh, inside you have an empty cell. You have a couple of uh, cells filled with people. You see a couple of guards gasping. A uh, small fire uh, up near the front, uh, presumably where you turned this guy over. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to yell to the guards, quick, open their cells, let them out. They're going to die in here. Persuade me. <laughs> <laughs> For sure his guards are the noble type. Ooh, natural 20 for a 25. Boom. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Cathaway lives matter, so they will... Uh, choke and cough and have mucus running down their face, but they will open up and allow every prisoner in this guard room to get away, hero. <laughs> uh, they push you out of the way, out of the way, Peck, and uh, they bolt for the exits. Uh, the young guard that has clearly no idea what he has just done goes, there you go. Hey, wait a minute. You aren't a guard. <laughs> Think of it as job security for us heroes. Somebody mm -hmm. is going to have her own wanted poster here in a minute. <laughs> no. uh, over to Joffrey, uh, the bolt of lightning. Uh, as you catch the furry butt and the wiggling tail, you think, huh, that, uh, that uh, could, uh, that might have been. And then you hear, <clears throat> Oh, 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 as Silas, the handsome but large, is uh, meandering or lumbering down the alley towards you. Uh, you got a good 20, 30 feet on him, so he's not going to run you over. But it appears as though you now have the silver medal in this chase. Uh, but before you do that, uh, Riley, give me an investigation check real quick, please. Ugh, a two for a total of seven. Fair enough. Joffrey, you're up. Is the guy with the chicken still there? You'll <laughs> have to go back about 15 feet and take a look. All right, I'll just take a quick look. Silas. <clears throat> uh, uh, Cat went that way. Uh, uh, you continue to chase your furry friend as Joffrey 
woohoo, passes you and goes down a side alley. Joffrey, yes, the individual is still there. And as he throws the bird seed, you can hear <laughs> the sound of gems, you think. Plastic gems. All right. Plastic um, gems. All my metal <laughs> dice are over in the other room. So um, I'm going to go up to this halfling. And I'm going to ask him, like, I know they normally eat gravel to help them digest. Is this something similar? Uh, storing these for a rainy day. like. Well, these are. And like I a weird think, Easter thing. Magic chickens. You have my interest. Uh, I feed these things gems in the morning and by afternoon. They poop out gold worth twice as much. How much for one of the chickens? <laughs> oh, my friend, they are not for sale. I'll give you this oxen that I was supposed to take to market. Oxen? <laughs> well, you saw them just run by, didn't you? <laughs> oh, oh, so you're going to give Silas to him. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I can't catch him. No, I'm not uh. interested. <laughs> so you have to wait till morning to find out whether or not they actually poop out gold. Afternoon. Oh, how close is that? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you are correct. In the morning, they poop out gold. Uh. Worth twice as much. He will then produce a handful of gold nuggets. See? Does this it smell like... This morning. <laughs> it, they smell like feces. How do I know My you just didn't pull that from your own? Uh, <laughs> if I could poop out gold, why would I feed these creatures? <laughs> I'm not saying you could poop out gold. I'm saying maybe you stored it there. I don't know. Don't these smell like poop? <laughs> 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 they do smell like poop. Such a in, good in, Morgan, in Morgan Freeman's voice, but they do smell like poop. <laughs> All right. Um, all this commotion doesn't bother you? Like, is this normal for you? Or, Friend, I am a simple man of simple means. A uh, simple man doesn't feed chickens gems and poop out gold. This is what the Buffett family does. I, Warren III, <laughs> am just continuing with my family <laughs> business. I uh, thought it was Jimmy Buffett. Okay, anyway... <laughs> Sorry, that's your character now, Mike. <laughs> I was going to be much more excited for Jimmy Buffett, but all right, I'm going to go head back out towards Silas and chickens, not parrots. <laughs> okay, uh, Silas is continuing to lumber down there. Uh, Silas, the cat is really quick. I mean, really quick. There must be a red dot ahead of him or something. <laughs> uh, but you are lumbering past. Uh, you go past the steel door that is open. Uh, give me a d20. Let's see if you accidentally step on a guard nine uh no you managed to prance your way in between the skulls of the coughing guards and do your best jesse owens hurtling ability over them and you look very handsome in doing it too okay. <laughs> uh, the wind is you... going through his hair oh yes yeah. as he does this <laughs> Uh, would you like to continue to pursue Marius or kind of pump the brakes a little bit and figure out why Jeffrey's running the other way and why he almost sold you into chicken slavery? Did, did I hear him some, try to sell me? You did not. Okay. I'm you were too busy admiring how good you look <laughs> as Chariots of Fire music is playing somewhere in your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly how I pictured it. Um, can I still see Marius, though? But, <laughs> no, you can All still right. see him. All right, I'm going to keep following Marius then. Marius, you're up. Uh, you are slowly making a gain on him, uh, but the individual dives into a tenement house. All right. How far away was he? Like, Because when I do that 120 feet movement, mm -hmm. then I have to stop for a full six seconds. Uh, he was about 30 feet ahead, and he rounded the corner. Oh, I rounded the corner. Damn. Okay, then I'll uh, I'll just bend over and wait for Silas to like you better, lumber up You better hope me. Silas can pump the brakes. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll put up my hand and be like, 
Yeah, Silas, you went around the car. S- s- ah! And I'll try to like, move out of the way as he's going. <laughs> like, you went around the car. <laughs> and that's another story. Uh, Riley, inside the chock full of smoke building, uh, you notice the grateful prisoners are quickly shaking your hands. Hey, thanks, lady. <laughs> and dodging out both exits. Uh, seemingly mm-hmm. oblivious to the crimes that they have committed uh the young guard is now starting to have second thoughts i gotta go i gotta go i'm going hey, i want to go back you, out are you, you work for the city <laughs> no. I probably the city. shouldn't have done that <laughs> which exit do you want to go out the steel door or the front door the steel door back into the alley and look for my friend uh as you step outside uh you catch just a glimpse of Joffrey in bargaining mode, you see Silas <laughs> charging down, and all you see is cat ass uh, farther down on the corner. Uh, but it looks like familiar cat ass, so you think it's Marius. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna ask uh, Did anybody catch Heinous yet? Which way did Heinous go? Are they all chasing Heinous? Uh, the four guards are like, Heinous helped us out. I don't know which way he went. And some giant fat ass nearly squashed my head. But he looked good. He was, he was a prince among men. He's a gorgeous figure. He looked like Thor incarnate. Well, that way. I want to run that way too. Fair enough. Uh, give me a D20. Let's make sure you don't step on somebody's groin as you, as you <laughs> add insult to injury. 18. Oh, easily. You leap over them in an acrobatic stunt and head towards them. Uh, you will probably catch up to Silas. I think, uh, Silas, what are you, 25 movement? I'm 30. Oh, okay. Uh, Riley, what's yours? <laughs> I'm only 25 because we're small. Oh, okay. Uh, but your feet are. Uh, so you will be slightly behind. You will have no worries about hitting the brakes before you hit Marius. Joffrey, uh, the individual is quickly growing tired of this conversation and asks if there is something he can do for you. Uh, before I leave, I'm going to ask the chickens. Like, God, I hate druids. <laughs> do you guys really poop out gold? Yes, we do. Huh. Okay, gotta go. I'm gonna head out for the rest of the party. Fair enough. Uh, we're all trying to get back together. Uh, Silas, you are quickly closing on Marius, who is bent over. Uh, <gasps> smoking. That's you know that's always gonna that's gonna kill you. Uh, do you want to go whizzing past him for the wacky racers position number one? <laughs> Did he tell me that that, that uh, penis went that way, or do I do I know that? Even with your intelligence, we'll assume that uh, he was chasing somebody. Right. All right. I, I'm Might be stop. his ball. Might be his ball. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> it was a pretty awesome ball. But I would have, I would have been, he went around the corner, just right there. And, uh, <sighs> got a pain in my side. <laughs> I didn't stretch before I ran. <laughs> Hammies are seizing up on me. That, I, was a guard walks wrong. by and gives him a moving. sign that says 2612. Oh. <laughs> You want to keep wrong. I could, I could keep moving, but I'm going to commit to it. I'm like bend over, just like <laughs> <laughs> someone who went to go try running for the first time after they haven't ran in like three years. There you go. Yeah. So Silas, what do you want to do? Go past yeah. him? and No, I'm going to stop and ask, where, where, where are you going? The jail's back there. The, the halflings were back there. At least the one I saw. Marius, you're up. <clears throat> Nine's the, the guy, the, the anus guy. He went, I followed him. He went to, down into the left and went into this tenement house. You need to go follow him. I will be fine. Give me one more second. Oh, that was great. And then all of a sudden, back to normal. Six seconds. D&D. Thanks. There, there you go. 
fifth edition blows on that time. <laughs> uh, okay, Silas, he told you to keep running. You want to keep running? Yep, I'm gonna keep running towards. Uh, you make out. the <laughs> break. Uh, you run around the corner. You see an open door. Uh, quickly on the heels is Riley, uh, who had a wee bit of a head start uh, on Joffrey. Um, Marius, do you want to point her to tell her to keep going? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll point. And then as she's running by, then I will start to like jog, jog at like in the general. You don't want to show anybody up here. No, you know, no. Obviously four there <laughs> already. Yeah. There, there's like a, there's a break in the clouds and the sun just seems to be peering right over his head. It, it's yeah. just a magnificent Future. Uh, Riley, did you want to stop briefly and make sure that Marius hasn't been wounded, or just continue on past him? No, I'll stop. I'll stop. Are you Are you okay? Is everything all right? He went this way. Should I go? Yeah, yeah. yeah just go. It's It's all good. Okay, I'll go. And they start running. In. So all three of you uh, quickly round the corner. Joffrey in full old man jog wearing a leisure suit and smoking something uh brings up the rear (laughs) 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 silas is the first one to spot the open door uh do you want to go up you do hear noises is that the tenement house from what i can tell yep okay yeah i'm gonna walk in and look around uh okay here's where the fun begins so (laughs) okay uh first one in silas give me a dc 13 versus dex sure (laughs) 17 uh you start stomping walnuts uh as there's a set of stairs up top and you see a woven basket toink, 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 and there are just walnuts raining down left and right uh do you want to charge up the stairs or slowly engage adam 12 style um i'm gonna charge i'm gonna keep running up the stairs yeah, that's that's my guy right there number two uh odd riley even marius odd riley you are in second uh give me the dc 13 uh dex or slip on a walnut Ooh, 23 uh you're just leaping bounds over the godlike figure ahead of you marius it's up to you to choke on this dc 13 decks because i know joffrey will yeah i'm good like okay 20 something you yeah. guys are i assume riley and marius you are full bore charge right behind silas the great mm-hmm. okay you guys are plowing up uh joffrey in your best uh, wise guy velour track suit you reach the front door do you want to go in yes but uh, do i see the walnuts as i go uh, in you uh do not see them because they match the walnut flooring oh. <laughs> I was going to do my James Wood. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Once you see the first one, if you pass it, then yes. You can okay, then it. yeah, I'm going to go in with the rest of them. Okay. Uh, Dex? Yep. Uh, 15. Damn it. Okay. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, everybody is my sack. I'm just dun, 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 stomping up the stairs. Uh, stomping up the stairs of the three-story building will be heard, indicating that their prey is going up. Uh, as you climb the stairs, it's made a little bit more difficult as a small cask comes careening down at you. Uh, Silas, give me a DC 13 versus athletics to dodge it. Athletics. 19. Uh, Riley. Uh, He leans to one side as a cask comes careening down. You are in second place. DC 13 versus athletics. Good for me. Six. (laughs) Boom! Right in the face. (laughs) 
Uh, uh, you take seven hit points of damage as oh. it cracks your nose and you go tumbling back. Marius, jump over her and continue or help your fallen associate down, who's clearly been shot. <laughs> as shards of wood go scattering everywhere. Yeah. Um, I'll be like, yeah, just drink what's inside. You'll be fine. And uh, then I'll uh, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> keep going on. Um, if, if it's fine with you, could I use acrobatics? And like, as she's barreling towards me, just kind of like grab onto her shoulders and just like jump over her. Oh, yes. Uh, Are yeah. you going to teabag her on the way over? No, I'd be considerate about it. You're a tabaxi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not, no. Furry teabag. That's fair. Uh, yeah. Riley, he <laughs> helps you go down as he uh, <laughs> leapfrogs over you and says, duck, duck, goose, uh, and charges up there. Joffrey, uh, as you come up the stairs, your fallen comrade has liquor or alcohol all over her. You reach down. <laughs> not good enough. Uh, do you want to help her up or... Also, zoom past her. Uh, actually, I'm going to help her up, and I'll cast Goodberry, and like ten little red berries show up in my hand. I'm like, eat these; it'll be good. <laughs> Stuff them into her face. <laughs> Here, eat these. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait! Don't eat that. <laughs> Offrey of the nine fingers <laughs> continues <laughs> up the stairs, uh, missing one. Not so good, Barry. Uh, you have made it to the third. So you got 10 hit points. Thank you. You've made it to the third floor, Silas. Uh, and you hear a slam of the door just as you reach the top. There are doors down both sides. Uh, let's see. I'm skipping that. There are six doors spaced evenly apart. And give me just a second to determine random roll. Okay, which door do you want to try first? There's Please. six doors. <laughs> I didn't see or hear any direction which way he went. You heard a slam. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. All right. Can I check all the doors to see if any of them are unlocked? Sure. Which door do you, do you want to start with door number one? Yep, start with one, work down the right way down the line for an open door. Uh, well, with your sizable strength and gorgeous looks, uh, you tear open one of the door handles, uh, and it is a family of five. Uh, husband, wife, and three children eating breakfast. Uh, initially, they are frightened as the robber is coming in, but gaze upon your charismatic facade and go, can we help you? <laughs> you used me, citizens. Did a scoundrel come through here? Thanks, RoboCop. <laughs> 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 nope. Uh, next one up is Marius. Marius, uh, Silas the robber just broke into somebody's house there on the left. What do you want to do? Wait. You did um, not hear a door slam. I did not hear one. Okay, so as uh, I'm just going to kind of figure that he's checking all the doors. So he, if he's going on the right side and checking those three, then he's I got to go left. on the left side. Yeah. Oh, he's on the left, then I'll go yeah, to so the, the right. right. All right. Yeah. Uh, you are in door number two. Uh, it is a lady just getting out of the shower. Um, yeah, I'm going to use my my hide bonus action. Oh, great. Yeah, this isn't stalkerish at all. <laughs> I'm no, going to no, hide not, in the shadows and watch her finish. Not, uh, if, not in that way, as in like... <laughs> I'm going to, like, I open the door and she just finished showering, and I'm going to hide in GTFO so she doesn't <laughs> see me creeping. Give, give me a in that stealth manner. check there, peeper. Yep. <laughs> oh, gra crap. Uh, <laughs> well, it's only a six, but I have seven stealth. So, uh, so thir thir 13. 13. Uh, 
she you hear a scream as you slam the door shut as you gtfo uh and silas turns around to look at you and you go it was nothing uh <laughs> at this time joffrey and riley are now reaching there uh Riley has red all the way around, kind of looks like a clown because she just stuffed the good berries in to get the thing. Uh, Riley, Joffrey, you have not heard the door slam. You aren't sure why these two are coming out of people's apartments. <laughs> Do you guys know these people? Nothing happened. Check the doors. He went in. Uh, the, the, door, the door that right, you just came out lady of? screaming inside. Oh, wait, no. I didn't know that. Never mind. I'm just like... <laughs> Silas is checking the doors. I was checking the doors. Nothing happened behind that first first door. Don't Sounds worry like about something it. Happened. Nine. Nothing happened. Leave it alone. Which door do you want to check, Riley? Number six. Oh, all the way to the end. Yeah. Uh, it is a small storage room uh, mm. and stairs. Go. Oh. On. Do I hear any noise up there? Uh, there's a lady screaming about a rapist down the hall, but right, right. Uh, you hear somebody walking along the roof, or actually <laughs> running along the roof. Oh, I'm Any going Any minute up. the guards will be here to kill somebody. <laughs> I'm going up. Fair enough. And I yell back, maybe this way, this way. Oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Who was that gorgeous man oh, that God. opened our door? Uh <laughs> Everybody give me a perception check to see if you heard Riley. Because Marius is splayed across the door. There's nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really focused on why he wasn't letting me in here. I'm like, I got a five. So I'm like, what'd you do in there? Yeah, I, well. To get I arrested 17. for you. 18. <laughs> Marius and Silas both heard Riley screaming uh, as she's going up the stairs. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, Marius and Silas, what would you like to do? Because I know, I know in my heart, <coughs> Joffrey's going to open that door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to handsomely run towards door number six. <laughs> like to roll for handsome please <laughs> <laughs> well you are looking at his butt what is your charisma silas 13 uh. <laughs> i have more charisma than he does what the heck you didn't name yourself <laughs> the handsome that's I guess your not. fault <laughs> that's not. perception uh. outweighs reality sometimes because <laughs> we all bought into the fact that a half orc is called handsome mm -hmm. uh riley give me uh just a straight up d20 make sure that you don't slip on a rung uh -oh. and ka -tung, ka -tung, ka all the way back down 12 you're fine uh you get up there uh you give the hatch a quick push mm -hmm. and it flops over just as silas the handsome reaches door number six marius in hot hot <laughs> hot pursuit uh jeffrey are you gonna go in and look at the lady screaming uh peeper uh no <laughs> i am gonna follow them but seriously dude what did you do in there you know what joffrey like the entire time i'm like following behind him i'm just like bugging him about this i'm like what the hell man like don't you guys knock or what like common courtesy uh, dude you know, just, I'm just saying, silas yeah. as you barrel into <coughs> number six you look up uh, a set of uh, like a set of rungs and you see riley dingle bottoms bottom and boots as she <laughs> leaps up onto what appears to be the roof because <sighs> fresh air and sunshine abound do you want to make the climb yep i'll climb up after give me a dex check Make sure, well, not even a dex check. Just give me a straight up d20 roll. D20. That's a 20. Nicely done. <coughs> you scamper up. Meanwhile, ting, you smile as you do it. Uh, Riley, as you reach the rooftop, this is a beautiful <laughs> vista, but you're alone on the roof. No heinous. No heinous. So I see him off on another roof, like he took off and left onto another roof. Do you building? want to look on the roof to the left or look to the roof on the right? <laughs> I'd like to look to the roof on the right, please. 
Roof on the right is even. Uh, you see some sunbathers who scream, hey, get out of here, peeper. <laughs> Silas, you have reached the top of the roof, as has Marius, assuming he doesn't roll a one or a two. No, nope. I roll? Uh, Silas, you hear screams of peeper, peeper uh, in the direction that Riley is kind of looking over. Apparently, you guys are all deviant, uh, apparently. Yeah. Uh, she went to the left. Do you want to go to the right? I went to the sure. right. Uh, as you run over to the right, give me a straight up D20 because there is loose gravel on this roof and I'd hate to see you plunge over the side. It would be unfortunate. Two. Uh, you plunge over the side. <laughs> Marius, uh, you see the handsome Silas. Oh, good news, Silas. Somebody is going to break your fall. See if you hit Hanus, <laughs> who has a fractured leg. Don't land on your face. <laughs> That's my best feature. Fifteen. Uh, si uh, Riley, over the screams of peeper, peeper, Joffrey, as you reach the roof, and Marius, uh, you hear a thunderous crash uh, as Riley points in the direction that Silas <laughs> went over the side. Uh, Marius, your first... Do you want to recklessly charge forward like Silas did, or would you like to venture out cautiously? Um, me? I think, I guess. And you can always roll for it if you aren't sure. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> so, did Silas, did, did, he, did he mention that Hanus is over there at all? Or did he just, like, start falling? He, he ran to the right and... <laughs> And rolled a two. <laughs> okay. A lot of loose gravel up there. If yeah. we like to get off the roof quickly, I can cast feather fall on all of us if we all jump. Well, that would have been helpful about a minute ago. <laughs> yeah. But I can cast it on all of us. He's okay. Hanus broke his fall. I don't know that. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking that I'm kind of thinking that Marius would probably do like some crazy assassin's creed jump off the roof into like a pie a bale of hay from like five million feet up kind of deal sure um, they land on their feet so we'll yeah i mean cats always land on their feet but they might get crushed by the car as it comes uh, running <laughs> over its head so uh yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go where silence went and uh leap, leap of faith and, and leap of faith it yeah i meant to give me a 20 just a d20 seven Okay, fair enough. Uh, I will tell you what happens in just a moment. Joffrey, uh, you have another peeper in the form of Riley Dinglebottom, who's pointing over towards the right. Uh, you managed to scale up slowly but surely. What would you like to do? Uh, I assume, Riley, you're headed to the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go towards where everybody else is going. And as I'm going, I'm just going to look at Riley and be like, you too? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> What can I say? Uh, Riley and Jeffrey, as you reach the side and look over, you see that there is a hole in the roof, about a Silas size hole in the roof, but stretched out with all fours is Marius, the tabaxi, who has not fallen into the hole, but he is in a precarious mm. state. Uh, he turns <laughs> towards you and yells out, they're below me. <laughs> um, this would be a great time to find out whether or not Marius is ticklish. <laughs> I'm just saying. You'll have to leap down. Uh, I can't do that. Whoa. Hey, you can leap down and feather fall. Oh, well, if you can do that, then let's do that. And okay. then all the way down, we'll just tickle him. Yes. So I grab jo Joffrey's hand and we jump off the side and I cast feather fall as we're falling. See a lethal weapon all over again. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to feather fall? atop Marius or to one of the sides? <laughs> we'll be nice and go to his side. Yeah. You're no murder hobo. No. Uh, as you mm -hmm. land... But as we're going past them, I'm just going like... Tick -tick 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 <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. How ticklish are you, Marius? Kitties, you gotta get their feet. Kitties are little toes are ticklish. Yeah, get the yeah. toe beans, man. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, if he, if he goes after my... My paws. Or, they're going, or like right the behind the tail. Going to come out. Just the dig claw. in on the. 
<laughs> the claws are going to come out though instinctively and just like immediately bat at whatever is <laughs> falling. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to lose my grip. Obviously, you should you yeah. should grab the ball and throw it into the hole. Uh, <laughs> down below, a cloud of debris uh, is there. Silas gets up, and a rather flattened heinous is below him, unconscious. Uh, Silas, you did suffer some damage from the fall, uh, but only three hit points. Uh, again, heinous broke your fall. Heinous took three times that damage and is in pretty bad shape. Uh, Marius, uh, D20. Let's make sure that you aren't too ticklish. Okay. Uh, big old five there. He's ticklish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you take the uh, expeditious route down and you suffer two hit points as you drop another 10 feet onto the third floor. Uh, but as you land with cat like efficiency, the dust is starting to settle and there's an old man eating grapes in his apartment, looking at the damage done by the two previous ones. Uh, meanwhile, the angelic twins can still use their feather fall to oh, drift down. Uh, the guy looks at you uh, as Silas picks himself up and dusts himself off. Uh, and the old man reaches out his bowl of grapes to Riley. Grape? Mm, no, no, thank you. I, the last food experience I had was not so good. <laughs> Uh, you have successfully captured heinous, recaptured, recaptured heinous. Well, you know, you already got paid. So, you know, maybe you, you get, get paid, paid maybe again. you don't for this one. Uh, you know what? Let's let's make this interesting. Who wants to D12 against me? I got gotcha. you. Okay. That's the red one. Nine. Fuck that dice. <laughs> Three. You take Heinous into custody and he attempts to persuade you uh, that he did not escape from jail. He, he had his bond paid for. He, in fact, helped some of the guards out. You are making a horrible mistake. When you get him back to the jail, he's telling the truth. <laughs> he did get bonded out. He was a free-to-go man. He was actually a hero uh, eh. <laughs> you've all suffered some damage none of it life threatening uh, there will be no reward because Joffrey's dice suck uh, <laughs> and it is almost 10 o'clock so I will say uh, you got paid <laughs> so it's not a total loss nobody's going to jail even though obviously you have two deviants uh, in your group who can't stop gawking at people. Uh, <laughs> Marius the Tabaxi, what did you think? I, I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I love playing in the urban environment stuff. I'm running, well, I was running one of my groups through Waterdeep Dragon Heist. So do, doing that was always a lot of fun with interesting people and interesting encounters. And that's what tonight was. So I had a lot of fun. Very good. Silas the Handsome with a Charisma 13. <laughs> what'd you think i had a lot of fun I, I enjoyed the different environment and getting to play a more interesting character than last time you said it thor <laughs> <laughs> uh and you got to figure out who schrodinger's cat was uh yes. joffrey the bong smoking druid i thought it was great i had a, a lot of fun uh it's the first time i actually played online so that was a new one for me and I really, really want to know more about those chickens. I, just, I was really hoping you guys had more time to hijack a chicken because I was this close to stealing one. I was this I, close to know, taking one and running off. I was, I, I was, I was doing the Raiders of the Lost Dark. Come <laughs> on, steal that chicken! <laughs> uh, and last but certainly not least, Riley. What'd you think? Oh, that was great. It was also my first time playing in an urban setting as well. And I liked all your little inside jokes. It made it a lot more fun. Well, it's nice that you guys are all relatively around the same age. So you get those jokes. Uh, some of my players are like, God, you're old. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Caitlin. Thanks, Kyle. Uh, yes, I am old, but no. I'm glad you guys had a great time, or, or at least a good time. Uh, it was fun to watch uh, you guys roll through this scenario. Uh, you sadly didn't get to see the UCFC. Uh, maybe next oh. time. Uh, it is always a fan favorite. Folks, thanks for watching. We hope you had a good time as well. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, uh, links down there. If you want to join us in Discord, links down there. Most importantly, if you want to join us in a one-shot or on the talk show every Tuesday night, uh, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. Uh, we'll get you linked in there and uh, get you on the show. Have a little bit of fun. Uh, I'd like to thank all four of you guys for joining. I had a blast. It was nice to get the regulars off there and, uh, you know, give a fresh perspective on not skinning people. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, don't forget uh, Pirate Dog Dice uh, for dice that roll high sometimes not for joffrey but tough shit uh and of course if your game stinks oddfishgames.com get yourself a little adventure sense uh not the sewers do not get the sewers you have been warned don't get the sewers uh folks for all of us here at murder hobo inc thanks for joining us everybody wave let's get the hell out of here bye everybody yeah <laughs>